All right, David, quarterfinal win over Zahid Valencia. Uh, first off, taking top, second period. You haven't been on top in a while. How'd that feel? Feels good. Um, he's he's going to be a good wrestler. There's no doubt about it. Um, Matt, Matt game is so important in college wrestling. Uh, I really miss it, to be honest with you. So, I haven't really wrestled folks down in probably over a year, but this week I was rolling around with Garrett Sutton, my fiance's cousin, and just kind of felt good to be on top again. So, uh, I just thought we were already in Chicago. Uh, a lot of workout partners weren't going to be home, so I was in the tournament. Get four, five matches at my new weight class. Uh, just five more matches. I mean, my goal this year was to get 30 matches, so each every match I get will be better and better for my adjustments in the new weight class. So you had options. You had 84, 97. Why 84? Why not 97? Uh, it was nice. Some are still pretty big. Um, 84 probably uh, it wasn't as easy to make as probably I thought it was going to be. So. But it's just good. I think it's good to get matches. I mean, comparable in size to the guys that were wrestling at 189. I mean, pretty much the same type of guys. So, uh, it's just mat time and matches. It's really the most important thing, I think, for, for me. This is the top, like, the top uh, folk style. Is it like riding a bike? It looks like it's like riding a bike. Did it come right back to you? Starting to a little more and more. Uh, I don't honestly feel like as good as I was at one time on top, but I'm wrestling new guys, which is nice. And uh, it's just fun to compete. You know, it's... At this level, international wrestling, we don't compete as much as we did in college. And every time we compete, it's against the best guys in the world, which is awesome. That's, 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 I mean, that's what you dream of as a kid. But I just like to, to wrestle. So just getting some more matches in. I love college wrestling. You know, I had a lot of great memories in college, but at this point in my life, I moved on. I'm wrestling freestyle, but when I grew up, a whole lot of post graduates wrestling this tournament. That was one of the things that made it so tough, and I never got a chance to wrestle on it when I was in college. And I really wanted to. I mean, you look at the list of Midlands champions, they go on to do great things. I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty great list. So um, I just love to be part of you know, part of the history of this tournament, and I just want to enter in it. Anybody tell you that this is like counterproductive to freestyle? Was that, was that any of it? Because you got great staff of coaches at the Nittany Line Wrestling Club. Obviously, I think it's the best staff of coaches, one of the best in the world. Uh, you know, was anyone like, hey, David, that's counterproductive to what you want? Well, I kind of got a little excited right away. I'm like, I think we're wrestling this tournament. I was going to tell my fiance in the car. And uh, I was like, well, I should probably ask first, just kind of run by the coaches, see what they think. But that's one thing that makes Penn State, I think, really special is the group of guys that we have. I mean, they're not like a protective group of people by any means. And the first thing they say is, you, you feel healthy? I said, I feel healthy. They're like, we're well, some fun. So you know, it was up to me to kind of decide what way I want to go. And at that point, you know, I've, I've been texting back and forth this week. Um, prepared a little differently. You know, freestyle preparation for style weigh-ins are different. So I had to kind of think a little differently, kind of coming to this tournament. Um, I really want to come and just kind of wrestle on the mat and just get that feeling, get five, six minutes of wrestling, trying to wrestle around and wrestle. And um, I think when I was wrestling at my best, I was getting, you know, in college, you wrestle 30 to 40 matches a year. And I wrestled my best in the state tournaments. So I think trying to rep, you know, kind of replicate that formula, you know, we're four months from the Olympic team trials. You know, there's guys in that bracket that I haven't beaten yet. You know, I haven't beaten Kyle Dig, never beat him in, in college. I haven't beaten him freestyle yet. He's a guy that really I gotta figure out how to beat. So I maybe kinda get back in here and do some spend some more time scrambling again. Uh, you never know, that could be the, be the difference maker. You know, our matches come down to the size of margin. You know, it's just it's one thing here or there and there's points being scored. Um, and every match has been a little different. Uh, so I, you know, it's kinda all trying to figure out a formula to kinda get the job done and maybe this could be part of that formula. This is fun. It's a blast. Kinda coming out, put an ankle band on again. I don't miss wearing headgear. I hate adjusting them. You know, I didn't even have headgear when I got here, so that was a big mistake on my part, but just getting back out there and competing and being able to wrestle on the mat. That's where I've always been the best, I think, in my entire career was always be a bet, I was the best mat wrestler. And right now in freestyle, it's kind of, uh, that part of my game is, is behind. You know, my freestyle mat wrestling is behind, but ultimately, you know, the mat's always been where I'm, I'm the best. So getting out here, just maybe trying to relive some memories, maybe relive some, some things in some different situations can make a difference. Some of those scrambles, getting takedowns to turn, takedowns to trap arms, you know, getting used to that. You know, some of the things that I was really good in college, just kind of playing with them again. Um, and I'm starting to feel like I've wrestled three matches now, and some of those turns are starting to come back to me. Just in, in the scrambles, you know, hitting some of those tight waist turns, hitting that cross wrist. I mean, those are things that will be available in freestyle. Just got to start looking for them. I think sometimes I want myself to kind of think ankle, it's got to think gut wrench. Before you know it, you're back on your feet, no turn. So, 
got to get a little more creative and get some turns. So that's kind of part of why I want to come out here and get some that time. How's the weight gain coming? I know that you need to put, you got it, you're trying to get bigger, obviously. Did you come up from 74 kilos, 163 pounds to where you were probably walking around at 180, I'm guessing. Now you're trying to wrestle 189. How is the size, putting on size and not getting, you know, slower and, and less flexible and, you know, like, uh, not being clunky, I guess, I guess would be the way to, how is the size coming? I think the size, I mean, it came on really fast. Uh, I think I've been holding, you know, it's probably just made this decision a couple years ago. I think maybe right out of college, I should have probably made the decision to go for weight class, but I thought my most competitive weight was 74. And, you know, I was right there, and we're talking about some pretty close matches with Jordan and, and Kyle back in 2074. So, I mean, I was right there, no doubt about it, but I was fighting my body so much. I was so banged up. Um, so I was finally making that jump. It was a big jump, especially in an Olympic year and a short year. But I made it for the weight on fast. It's been frustrating. A couple, I mean, it's been four months where I was just, every day I'm just out there, I'm getting tired. I wasn't feeling how I was feeling, a lot of frustrations, but it's starting to kind of come back. I'm starting to feel good in this weight class. And, uh, you know, my movement, my scramble, those are things that I can, can, can continue up in this weight class um, and continue to implement those as well as you know, get better positioning. And um, there's just so many areas at this point in my wrestling I can continue to get better in, which is really exciting. So that's just kind of kind of continue to figure those things out, but the weight gain's good, and that's not an issue. I feel good at the weight class, no doubt about that. I'm gonna continue to feel better and better. I think um, I, I believe I'm gonna put four or five pounds on before the, before the trials come. So it's just a matter of four months, trying to feel the best I possibly can, making with the team. You know, and then you have another three or four months to try to figure out the best I can uh, for the Olympics. So I mean, it's it's a uh, eight month process from here. But, and the far as getting in here, was it? Did you used to make a phone call? Is that all you had to do? Yeah, uh, you know, I, I, think, you know, I think the tournament director just me in. It was kind of a last second, last minute thing, but um, I think it's good for the tournament. I think it's it brings some excitement and hopefully it brings some uh, maybe some more guys. I'm trying to maybe fit this in their schedule. You know, I had some guys hit me up this week and oh, man, you should have told me we could have we could have entered and got in there. You know, so maybe who knows in the future maybe some more post grad guys will come here and mix it up. Just kind of make the bracket team deeper than they already are and kind of. Prestigious Midlands, you know, make, can become that prestigious tournament again. Um, so, but anyways, they get the uh, at the end, no problem. They showed up right in. You know, it's kind of feel like odd man out a little bit, but it's it's uh, it's kind of fun, just kind of hanging out. You know, I was always part of a team before. We got guys from 25 to heavyweight wrestling. It's kind of weird just being by myself, but hanging out with my family, you know, my fiance, my future brother-in-law, his wife. So it's like kind of nice, just wrestle. So it's different, but it's, it's relaxing and enjoyable. Uh, you got anything else, Ron? I just think, you know, the biggest thing is uh, I wouldn't be able to do what I do without my sponsors. You know, Adidas Wrestling, Clips Wrestling, All Force Nutrition, Milwaukee Tool, and Nate Line Wrestling Club. Uh, those, without those people, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing every single day. So the sponsorship in wrestling continue to grow. And it's, you know, people don't understand how important that is for what we're doing on a daily basis. We couldn't, we couldn't do what we want to do without our goals without those and the support from our sponsors. So just always want to thank those guys for all they do.